All right, this is not the not the best angle, not the angle that I wanted to be trying to do this at, but I might just have to do it. I might just have to do because I don't really have any other way to do it right now. But this right here is a Pentax K1000 that I've taken top cover off the decorative piece, and it didn't come with bottom cover. Uh, it does not work as far as I know, and I don't know how to fix it. So I've decided to take it all apart and use it for practice in case I need to take apart this working one. Um, I have all parts from this. I've got, you know, this this one's got, it, it works fine, but it's got a pretty loud squeal there. I don't know if you can hear it. Right here. But, you know, in a case that that ever needs parts, I now have one. I bought this knowing that it was broken to practice removing this part right here, which I'll show you in a second. Basically, you peel all the leather off, uh, off of the front, the back leather is still there, and then you unscrew a couple screws and then you're able to take this piece off. Uh, let me show you. Um, the little video that I watched regarding this repair said that this is not something to be done at home. This is not something that you should do on a working camera seeing as it can be detrimental to your camera's function. Um, get this other screw off. They both have a little washer on them. Um, this little piece right here. So you're gonna have to take those off, or I'm gonna have to. Uh, there's a lot of wires involved in this. Um, fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm not very electrically inclined. I don't really know how any of that stuff works. Fortunately, this camera is pretty much mechan all mechanical outside of a couple couple cables around here but the guy that I was watching do it said that even even when you are tasked with repairing an electrical circuit on this camera they're extremely simple so this little piece will come off just like that and then this box right here you see this black box I'm not able to point to it because I have to hold this on this black box right here all of this this entire chamber is removable you can take this piece out and you can have it, have it hanging out um, it contains the the mirror and uh, it will give you full full uh, full access to the shutter back there that is too dark to show. Uh, it will give you full access to that shutter back there. Um, this right here is a spool for the shutter as well as this. Um, this thing right in here. Uh, I have no idea what's wrong with it, but the prism glass is clean. The parts seem to work for the majority. Um, what I'm not able to salvage on there, I can salvage on this. So, um, just got to keep that in mind. Um, maybe if I get this other light over here, you will see the shutter. Uh, I'd like to show the shutter because I do find it, um, kind of a tedious thing. There's a, when I know when I started to repair these, I had a big fear of deep breaking the shutter or damaging the shutter. Um, yeah, there it is back in there. You see that little piece of cloth? That right there is, the, is your shutter. Um. You can hardly see it, but uh, yeah, again, the camera, I have no clue how to get it working. Um, I'm sure I could figure something out, but I, I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, I don't know if it's worth totally destroying the camera for it. Uh, I think I'll just keep it for parts right now, but this right here is cracked. This, this piece will move up and down. Uh, I, right now, the issue is I think the shutter's fired like this. The shutter is fired. But you can't fire the shutter again until you wind, which recocks the camera. And you can fire it again, and you can wind and fire again. I think the issue is that this camera has been fired. Right here, this is the internal shutter. Uh, this has been fired, so it won't go again. But if I grab the wind lever and stick it on here, I can't wind it. It is locked on, totally locked. I can push as hard as I want, but won't budge so I don't really know what's going on with it um, as I said before I think it's best kept as a parts camera Put these screws back on in there oh jeez so my brother in the other room he's playing video games but I just wanted to, just wanted to make a quick, quick thing on this just maybe for myself in the future Maybe I'll send it to someone and kind of explain what I've been doing. Um, this right here is the film prong. You pull this and it opens the door back here. Uh, wind lever, shutter speed dial, 
this is the light meter over here somewhere. I don't, I don't quite know. I think I'm supposed to have a little plug that's supposed to cover this up, but it does not seem to be there. Uh, I was gonna try and take these screws off to see if I could get into the back of the camera. Speaking of these screws, it appears that Oh, no, this is the wrong side. No, I, I wasn't messing with these screws. I was messing with these screws, see if I could get this open, because I wanted to mess with the wine lever, but uh, this screw is totally engulfed in glue, and then these three I was able to get out, but I realized that I'm, I believe this is welded onto here. This is all one solid part of the body. So even if I was to undo these screws, it would just take the film back off rather than the rather than this chamber that I need access to. Um, gonna stick my screwdriver in there. I can feel the rod that this actuates which goes down to here, actuates this lever. In a working camera, I can show in a second, but in a working camera, um, when you wind, this entire mechanism will spin, it'll pull this, it'll uh, pull this, this piece of metal up right here, and then this piece of metal would normally be there to catch it. Um, it is not working right now, because um, the, the gears are in the wrong, wrong position. Um, this gear is supposed to be over here, hence why I think it's fired, because on the working camera, when you fire it, you're no longer able to see a little knob under here, but if I, if I quickly, quickly auspultate it over, um, do that, oh god, let's do it this way, stop it with this finger, and then pull this knob over, you can see right here, this little sucker is what needs to be in front of this, but it is not. Post-wind, this that little knob will end up in front, so it just, it just makes me think that something's wrong with the winding mechanism, but I'm no professional. Um, as you can see back here, these are all just the parts to the top of the camera. This is all the uh, speed, speed gears. These are all the frontal gears. This is the leather. This is the rewind knob, this is the film lever, film advance lever, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, yeah, it needs work if, it, if I was to even fix it. I don't think I'm going to. Uh, I think it's, you know, as I've said like five times now, it's better off as a parts camera. But um, still fun to take apart, still fun to mess with. Um, you know, finally, I, I guess it's my first parts camera in, a, in its own kind of way um this was initially broken i managed to get it working it's a pretty simple fix um this lever was stuck back here and this piece was not catching it as you can see on here this is supposed to kind of move to catch that piece um what would happen is you would this when you when you're rewinding this piece would go up um followed by this this lever right, uh, followed by this lever right here this lever would pull it up push that pin up, and then when you do that, this spring is supposed to catch this, and the spring is supposed to help you, or the spring is supposed to push this piece down. Um, I screwed it up one second. Um, that piece is supposed to push this spring down, which will then catch this. This, this little piece of metal will catch this, and uh, in here, if you look, looks fine, but when I fire down here, it, 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 it does something, but this lever does not move. Um, and over, oh yeah, here goes the, here's the other little, the little pin. Um, I'm sure then the other one's just sitting in the leather out somewhere. I have to fish it out and reattach it sometime. Don't quite know which piece of leather it's gonna be on, but some, you know, just one of those little rubber stoppers. But um, what's happening here is I think the shutter's already fired, and this is the manual moving of this mirror. Um, and then as soon as I release this mechanism, you know, it sounds like it did something, but that mirror just came back down and the shutter did not move. I did that a few times and it was not able to, still not able to wind, as you can see here. So, just a, just a, just a conundrum for me, seeing as this is my first time ever, one with a K1000, two with a camera that wasn't totally dead, or that is totally dead. Um, and not entirely mechanical, and three, I just, I, I don't know how to diagnose this problem, I haven't worked with enough of these cameras before, but it was certainly a fun, I don't know, I'm it was certainly a fun repair, uh, also kind of funny, this, this camera is very spacious, so if I'm, if I was to take this little cover off right here, so 
some of you might be pretty surprised since it is, guess what? Uh, just an empty space. There's nothing in there. Uh, this just leads into the film, film compartment. So I, actually, I guess it's not just an empty space. It is technically, yeah, inside the film compartment. Yeah, I, I lied. It's not empty space. But in general, the video that I was watching, uh, the guy said this is a very spacious camera, by the way. Robbing Broncos, the guy that I was watching, amazing, 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 amazing technician. Um, puts up a bunch of repair videos on YouTube. Commentates them well. Has nice music playing in the background. Uh, super, super chill, chill way to watch a video. I enjoy those videos quite a bit. But um, that's all for me today. Just had, just uh, had this camera shipped to me. Uh, I was scrolling the dark corridors of eBay. Saw it. Thought, hey, why not? Um, I had just gotten this other K1000 working. I was kind of feeling myself. I was like, oh, I could do another one. Um, but as I, as it, as it came closer and closer, I kind of realized, you know, I'm not able to fix it. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise because then I'll have parts for this camera that is, you know, it hasn't been, it hasn't been used since 1999, according to the sticker that was on there when I got it. Uh, speaking of which, I got that one for free. Um, hadn't been used since 1999, so it's prone to some sort of problem, right? Unless these things are just peak pinnacles of mechanical engineering, which... In my opinion, they are, but nothing's going to work forever. Um, yeah, that's this camera. Again, Pentax K1000. I've got the cover sitting right here. Speaking of which, if you want to see... Oh, there's a little plunger that I was looking for. This just goes up in here into the shutter mechanism to give it enough distance to be able to push this one over here. But if you want to see real quick uh, what a relatively... What this, this Pentax... Oh, another thing. There's different kinds of Pentax K1000. There's metal top, plastic top. There's different years of production. Uh, I believe these cameras are quite similar in their years of production. Uh, the plunger fell out again. These, these cameras are about as similar as it'll get in terms of years of production and not being the exact same year. They have very similar parts, the same labeling, all that stuff. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, but, you know, that's what this one looked like before. Uh, and obviously without the leather I had a good time doing it. Honestly, um, really wasn't hard. Um, don't really know why I had a good time doing it, but it was just, just something to do. But that's all for me. Uh, I'm not going to drag this on any longer. Thank you.